Greetings, Beaverkin, and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I pressed one. Took a little while for those wheels to get a spinning. And um, <clears throat> anyway, it's been a couple of days. I've been really busy with some different projects, as well as a, uh, a new game that I've been playing called Noble Fates. I hope you will check out my series. It is absolutely insane. It's like RimWorld in 3D, except it's very like has crunchy graphics, which I love. And it's about orcs and humans and, and people have very significant opinions on everything. So there is one annoying mechanic, but overall it is so dang addictive. I hope you will watch it and, and enjoy it as much as I am playing it because it's really, really fun. So anyway, having said that, we are back in business. We are doing all the things and all the stuff. And we have had some information from the scientific quarters. So let's get to those messages first because we love to see uh, what's going on. All right, this message is from Zerkoi. I love Zerkoi's notes, by the way. Water upwards moving mechanism ideas. Bees with buckets? Tilted water wheel, a giant screw, really big rotating sponges. <laughs> I might need help on this one, but I promised the bees I wouldn't come, I wouldn't move to one of their observatories without them. The scientific park on the mountain in Beaver Dancington has been rumored to allow bees. Maybe I'll ask for a transfer when they're complete. That sounds like a great idea, Sir <laughs> And Zerkoi is, of course, talking about this beautiful, beautiful park up here. They do have, um, you know what? Zerkoi, you're right. You are absolutely right. Hold on a second. Let me just rotate this properly. I think we should allow bees uh, because bees are an important part of ecology in the world and they should be allowed. So let's go. Let's have bees. It, it might be a waste of paper and such, but we don't care because it is, it is within the realm of our scientific advance, advancement and excitingness and, um, and all those things. Yeah. So we're going to go with that. All right. So yes, Zerkoi, they officially allow bees as of now. Uh, we are also reminded to put in some more beehives uh, down here. I know that we have things... Uh, we might need another thing over there uh, and more up here. I'll fix those in a second. And also in these large farms that we just planted in the last episode. So that's important. Now we do have another message of scientific importance. So let's go. Uh, actually, this might come from up on the hill. This might actually come from here. They're not actually working yet, but we do have people thinking about stuff because scientists are thinkers after all. This message comes from Squishy Dave. Note from Scientist Dave. My chinchilla measurement remains under discussion. Thankfully, the rumors of rodent abuse haven't hurt my chances. I remember when the, 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 the beaver SPCA was on your tail. I am distressed to see some beavers talking of using speed to measure water flow, cord measures or some such. This is terribly inaccurate and will lead to a dam failure. An acorn's width of water flowing over the top of a dam can move at tremendous speed but carry very little water, while a log's deep flow at a fraction of the speed can carry far more water. No water flow must be volume of water by time. At this point, I don't mind if capybaras are chosen, as <laughs> that is based on volume by time. I don't think I, I don't think that was. I think it's capybara migrations per second. So that's actually a distance, not not a. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a speed, I guess, distance over time instead of, I mean, I don't think we're actually looking at the volume of the capybaras. Um, anyway, uh, choosing a speed based measurement will cost beaver lives. We cannot possibly engineer sound dams with such an accurate water flow information. Speaking of time, I have been judging old artifacts from those who have come before and they have had rather an ingenious way of measuring time. Yeah, this is so great. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. I, I love this. It was divisible by many numbers to allow the day to be divided up in many ways. They had 24 H's in a day, 60 M's in an H, and 60 S's in an M. After many months of research and collaborations with my archaeological colleagues, we have managed to determine 
what the time measurements are called. There are 24 hedgehogs in a day. Uh, 60 minks and a hedgehog and 60 squirrels and a mink. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh my god. I have devised a device to keep accurate time based on and powered by water dripping from an upper container to a lower one. You know, that is actually a thing. Water clocks are actually a, a legit... Um, uh, uh, technology. Oh, wait, I should probably click here so that the game proceeds. Um, anyway, that, that is a legit technology that was ancient. Uh, one merely needs to pour the water back into the top container to recharge it, and it's accurate to within half a squirrel a day. <laughs> and it only uses milli chinchillas of water per hedgehog. I call it the time o 5000. <laughs> That's even better. It's like such this like crazy archaeological ancient thing and you give it like a modern Jetson style time o 5000 name. Ah, oh, according to my time o it's 15 minks past four. Time for a quick snack. Where are my chestnuts? <laughs> Back at the chestnuts again, I see. Thank you so much, Dave, for that information. We 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 love this. I, I hope you'll keep on reminding us about important hours of the day. You know, how many uh how many squirrels passed a mink and all that kind of thing. You know, that gives another another meaning to, you know, squirrels past a mink. You can imagine them like waiting past on, on a bus stop or maybe in a race or something. Yeah, how many squirrels past a mink is it? Oh my god. Oh, okay, and now the cat is blocking my third... Uh, cat, excuse me, Eleonora, can you remove yourself? Sit, sit. Okay, sitting is good. You know, if you can, you can kind of like push a cow, cat and cow. I'm not pushing cows or tipping cows. I'm pushing cats over. <laughs> anyway, but it's good to sit them. They sit very well. They like sitting, so it's okay. So anyway, Eleonora, you continue to sit. Good. Yes, I can see my monitor. Excellent. And now we will hear from the wonderful Sabrus Terrace. Terrence here. I volunteer to lead a future mining district. All right. You are nominated. I have far less knowledge of tunneling than Tomas, but I know enough to keep my fellow beavers safe while in the tunnels. I have been practicing with the wicker stick claws and am willing to work with our science beavers to figure out how to make more and how to make portable lights because the dark is quite scary. I hope you'll also talk to the curious beaver. I know that the curious beaver really wants to work in mining, has been studying his whole life, actually, from the time he was a kid. So, yeah, that's cool. Now then, um, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, I think we were trying to get this stuff built, and I think that's going to happen soon, so that's fine. Well, it's going to happen when we get planks. I think we're short still. Well, not that short. What did we need here? I think we needed maybe, did we need builders? Are we short of builders? I believe we're short of builders. That could be a concern. Let's see. Trying to look for a place where we could sneak a builder's hut. Oh, this is finally done. Hello. All right. So we were going to make, we were making stuff, right? As in lots of stuff. This was, this is making grilled spatter dock. Do we have that much right now? 22. That's not a lot. What I'm wondering is maybe we should save this for something else. Or maybe we just build bigger warehouses. Uh, I'm wondering if this area, maybe what we need to do is clear out the ruins here. Um, or alternatively, use these fields because the fields don't really belong there anyway. Let's see. Let's make a couple more underground warehouses because this I want to be my food distribution place. And we want to build some more, some more stuff. This land could be used to store trees. Okay, we need to get this road there. Okay, let's actually do that and we will kind of re recycle those two tiles there. Okay, that's good. And then plant some trees. I think we're good to plant trees there. Okay, very good. So that works. Um, 
we can also potentially uh, put in a city gate here. Maybe we connect these platforms as well. And so these people can help them with the building instead of transferring the stuff through the, the distribution system instead. They can just give them gears and stuff. All right. That seems easier. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. Right. Let's go. I forgot that that was three deep. That's pretty nice. Okay. Very good. Okay, so that's the thing. Um, we also have this small area of land here, which could be wood storage. Um, this I might turn into actually distribution because I think we don't really need what it is right now. Uh, I would like to add another builder's hut, maybe right here. <clears throat> There we go. All right, so there we go. Another builder's hut has been added. Now, did we decide this one was gonna be spatter dock? Looks like they're storing bread and carrots. What do we have the most of right now? We have, <laughs> yeah, like not much of anything really. We are going to have some potatoes, I think. Did we, wait, where are the potatoes being made? We have them being grown here, but do we have any grilling happening? I don't think so. I think maybe this is the place to have some grilling going on. So wait, no, this is our grill. Hello. Okay. So let's do, I really wish we could split this in half because like 4,000 of each food is a lot of food. Let's do two things though. We'll just do spatter dock and potatoes for now. Grilled potatoes. There they are. Okay, so we have those two items. What else can they make? Chestnuts. Okay, we don't actually have any chestnuts around here, so we don't have to worry about that third grill. I was going to put it right there because it seems convenient. But what we could have here instead is a bakery, <clears throat> and we can just have that working. So let me cut these crops out of here. And, um, yeah, there we go. Hooray. And here we can have more potatoes. Hopefully the food crisis is over, but we'll just monitor that and make sure. This needs to be Dunsville. Man, why are we not? Oh, it's just the tree. The lack of trees, I think. But we have cutters. Why are they not cutting these trees? Hello? Are they cuttable they are cuttable okay confusion don't know what's going on there uh are we able to plant there no okay alas not all right that's okay though <clears throat> no worries now then we are what are we doing now we need to uh do many things actually there's a few different things that we need to do i'm loving this water wheel project is kind of fabulous um, we could, hey, I know what we could do over here. We could put a wind mine there. Wind mine, mining the wind, otherwise known as a cloud exercise machine. That is a really important reminder we have had from Zerkoi. It's important. Uh, hmm. Could we there? I don't think so. Here though, yes. Could actually delete this here. Maybe there, maybe, maybe there as well and there. This is a great area for wind mines actually, especially since this area, if it stays as crops, uh, it's pretty, pretty handy. Actually, maybe there, maybe not here. We can cancel this. Or the other uncancel, the uncancel. Okay, so plant potatoes there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good. I think, I don't think we'll be able to have one or will we? We will. Oh no, we will, I think. So they can be two apart, one, two, and there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Never mind. We want to uncancel the uncancel. 
That was so dumb. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Let's go on and do stuff. So I was reminded that I didn't finish hooking up the mud baths, and that is very true. I will agree with this. Uh, we did not finish this intersection here, which it's hard to see. I'm quite sure, but we're going to try to get this anyway. So let's do that. We have a this thingy there and a power shaft running between them. Hooray. Okay, so that should be that. This is connected there. This goes that way. And life is getting better. We shall have mud baths for days. This is going to be fabulous. And let's go and plan our beehives because I don't want to forget that. So we're also going to try to figure out some of these things. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one goes there. And up here, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, and four. So like right there, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, okay. We'll just leave it. I, in fact, I think what we'll do here instead is just put it right smack in the middle because yeah, that's not really that great of a thing. Cancel that and replant spatter dock. Okay. I don't know if, the, I don't think this is permanent, but this is going to be permanent. So let's go ahead and again, delete some spots here. One, two, three, and there. Okay. One, two, actually we can just smush it in with the beehives themselves. So that one goes there. So one, two, three. So this one can be somewhere like here and there. All right. <clears throat> so this one like there seems good. And I wonder why all of this wheat has been planted. It's like, why have they not planted whatever this is supposed to be? <laughs> so strange oh you know what they're on harvesting that's why they're just pl uh not replanting that's the problem okay that yeah that needs to be fixed for sure so this one covers a tiny bit of this area which is okay let's see one two three and there that should be enough okay perfect now let's go here this is a much more regular field so one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, there. So this should be just very easy from the edge. One, two, three. One, two, three, and there. Two, three. One, two, three, and there, and there. Okay. One, two, three, four. No, not there. No! Why? Bad. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, and there and there okay so i can actually i can beehive this one so one oh, hard to count one two three one two three so this level there oh actually we can just move it off to the side since we can actually see the outlines here that is actually three, so that's fine. And it is on the alignment that we want, so that's perfect. Good, good. And then we need one right there as well. Okay, so that's going to be a very regular field structure there. All right, so one thing that we do need is a grist mill because we have this wheat happening. Um, however, now do we send, what do we send actually? I'm thinking that we send, let's see, what, what, is, what are the, the numbers on this? I want to look at what we got here. So this is making wheat. So it's one wheat into one flour. All right. This is one cattail into one flour. And then the flour gets baked into multiple breads. So we could transfer the wheat or the wheat flour I think we should transfer the wheat flour, mostly because I want to have bread made in uh, this place, which is Tater Hollow. I want them to have some bread. Um, and I don't want to transfer wheat flour over and then back again. That doesn't make any sense to me. So what I want to do is actually make a, a little outpost here. How far are they? 
Okay, so this is still in well in the zone here for doing stuff. So I think what we'll do is be a little bit like, uh, nope. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna have more water here, then a space and then stuff. So whatever this stuff is, I don't know what it's gonna be. We'll see. Uh, I don't know if we should make more water here. That could could be a good thing. Let's just get all of this, delete that. Okay, very nice. But these probably are gonna be industrial buildings if I were to guess. So let's just do that. No, we can't do that. We need to have at least one more, if not two. Let's fix that again. Yeah, be really careful if you're just deleting the path, you need to click on the fence for that and not the the other thingy majingies. Now note that you, well, actually you do need to have one space for the water, otherwise the pumps have nowhere to go. Okay, let's choose a thing here. We need a grist mill here. Now I think we can have this place uh, maybe good for doing the land-based farming and then somewhere else can do the cattail stuff. That's what I'm thinking. But let's see if we do We could do this and be very naughty and take up some of the water space. I think that's better though, because then we'll get to produce power to both. Cause this has a very, um, uh, side, it has a side, I was going to say inconvenient, but it's not inconvenient. It's, it's called puzzle solving. It has a side entrance. So I'm quite happy for that to be there. So let's put in our shafts here and just run the power line since these are going to be the first two buildings. I don't want to connect it at the end because there's nothing there yet to actually make it work. Let's just go from there since there's already a connection. Makes it a little bit easier. Also, I'm building one from this thing. So it's not well, actually, you know what? Actually, no, this is actually better, I think, because they can't get trapped there. And that might be more convenient for our handling of the situation. Okay, let's get the cross thingies or the connectory thingies. The, oh no, bad. Rotate that and delete. And this, let's pause that one so that this one can get built. Now then, can any of this get built? I think we might need we might need something here. Let's find out where the buildy, buildy buildies go. Okay, so that, these builders only are going up to that point. There's no anything there. I think our best building bet probably is to go here and then just take a stairway down. So I think I'm just gonna have them, gonna do something like this will be like, do this and walk and go like this. Uh-huh. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these bits of, of road and platforms so that those, those can get built fairly soon. Now we are getting more and more of this area planted, but it does take a while. So only one person is working on it. So they have their work cut out for them. That's for sure. It almost might be worth doing two, two. Um, I should have put a second foresters up immediately, but I was like, nah, we don't need it. It's fine. They're already doing stuff, but the, yeah, we kind of do need it. Kind of do, kind of do. All right, so what's going on with this? Why are these not built yet? Hmm. I think we have lazy beavers. Okay, so what's, uh, oh yeah, this is the problem with this, of course, I forgot. 
We are still building because we don't have enough stuff. A lot of people have been like, hey, you need to raise your limits on the logs. And we really don't because as you see, when they deliver logs, they use them up right away. So if the limit is 25, they never even get to 25. So we do not need to raise the limit on logs. As it is, I think it's 50 and not 25. Let's just see. Logs. Oh, it is 25. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, because as you see, it never even gets to 25. So we don't need to raise the limit. They're just, they just keep using them. Um. All right. So what else have we got going on here? Not much. It's, it's pretty quiet. Pretty quiet over here in Snacktopia. Things are going pretty well. But I, I kind of feel like maybe I should do more distribution. As in maybe build another distribution thingy. This could be a good spot for one right here. There's a three there. What do we need? Two on the side. Okay. This is doable. This is very doable. If we do, so there's three, then we need, no, 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 that's not right. That's completely not right. I was looking at this actually. So this here, and then another three, that will get us our distribution center. And then we just need a path here. Yeah, and that works. Okay, cool. Distribution post, rotate. Okay, very nice. And here it goes. And maybe we just have that doing logs, I don't know. We have this huge amount of logs down. Oh, wait, we were gonna distribute from here, weren't we? Because we have so many logs down here. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's leave it. We could, we might be able to, to do more from there. I don't know. Let's take these people we have many unemployed beavers here, I feel. So set a new route going to the right hand one. And we're taking logs. Go. Okay. Don't know if we need logs in the other one or not. Now, if they're not able to use all of these logs immediately, then we might need to add in more logs to be carried. Okay, go there, please. Logs. All right, excellent. Go for it. Oh, are we hungry again? No, there should be food. There's some food. Oh, not much, not much though. Oh, cook faster. Oh dear. Okay, so what have we got going on here? I think we need, oh, we. you know what we do? We need a grist mill over here as well. Wait, or do we? We are growing a tiny bit of wheat. Okay, so we do. We, we need our own grist mill here. Let me add that. Um, I think here is a good spot if it will fit with the way the, um, the entrance faces. Let's go and see. I forgot which way the entrance is. Let's see, grist mill. No, the entrance is bad to the bone right there, man. Bad, bad, bad. Eh. Well, alternatively, we can just move this. I don't know why I didn't just move that to the very beginning. That was a bad decision by me, really. This, like, I didn't move that stairs all the way up. I should have, I, I kind of wanted the bridge sort of in the center. That's why I didn't, I'm pretty sure. Uh, cause otherwise there's really no reason to have it right there. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll put it in the center, make it pretty. But you know what? Pretty doesn't count if it doesn't function. So there you go. Okay. There and there. And let's take this this way. So this is going to function somewhat. Um, we also might add... Maybe one on this side as well. I don't know. Okay, that seems to be good for now. Let's see, how is the observatory section stuff going? Okay, it, it is progressing or not. Something is not happening here. <laughs> There's a lot not happening. Yes. Are we getting paper here? Do we have a paper mill? Let's see. We do, but it's in the wrong area. 
It's in the area that is not there. You know what I haven't done? I haven't prioritized this area. That's very silly of me. You know? That's really weird. I shouldn't I should do something other than that because it doesn't work very well. If you don't prioritize it, it will never work, in fact. Well, technically not never. It will work at some point, but it's going to take a while. All right, let's go. Let's keep on going. I'm kind of tempted to put these farmhouses on a metal platform, but I don't know. Let's see, how many metal blocks do we have? We have 215. So let's see, if we do a giganto platform. Okay, it's 500 science points. We can afford it. We're all good. So this gives us not actually that much space. We'd need... We'd need two of them to put three farms on top. It's a really weird structure as well. Like you can see, it's like three above. I think it's three. Looks like three. Let's see, if we tried to put it in water, would it be... I think it would be... Uh, at height? The same height? Hello? Okay, no. It actually would be at a, at above, slightly above... So it's at like level four in height. Oh, it does say right there has four blocks. I've never, you know, I've never noticed that there are blocks there. I mean, I think I did, but for whatever reason, I haven't associated this specific one because I've noticed these. Obviously, you have one, two, three there. Okay, so four. Hooray. Nice. I think someone was asking me if I should put bridges over here. I guess we could. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to go the other way on this island. Let's see. What do we need here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Or seven potent. No, six blocks. One. No, no, no. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, so we can do two threes there. Do we have other ways to get around here? Do we? Hello? Yes, we can go underwater there. I think this is the part where someone was asking me, hey, you know, can you put this here? And I'm like, I don't know where you're talking about. I don't think I said that, but that's what I was thinking. I'm like, huh? What specific area are you talking about? But I think this is exactly where they were talking about so that we could put like plants underneath. And normally I don't necessarily care. It's six tiles, so it's not like a huge amount, but it's I guess it's worth it. Maybe. Also, for those worried about the bees, they can swim. Zerkoi, our scientist, has created bee flotation devices. So you do not need to worry about that at all. Uh, okay, we also need... There's another one over here. Needed. Okay. So also, we have a little bit of shallow over here. How is this? Is this... This is quite shallow over here. Oh, look at them. They're just swimming. Are they swimming? They are. They're just swimming around. I didn't know beavers would swim. Is this a new feature? They're not building. They're just swimming. Oh, that's lovely. I didn't know they would do that. I thought they had to have a purpose to go out and do stuff like this. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, But we have discovered that over here... Could be a great spot for a farm or two. So I think I'm going to build one or two. Let's see. What we can do is build it on top of a house. Like if we have a couple of these, like this here. We can put the aqua farms on top, which I do feel is probably an abomination of nature them being so far from the water, but you know what? It kind of works. So we might do this instead. And then I don't want to waste the real estate space because we really would like some more housing here, I feel. So there we go. Let's put a road before we cover it up so it's easier to access. There we go. Okay, and then, then we can do things. Oh, you know, oh, wait, we can't do that either. Nye. Oh, you know what? We're going to do something different. Yeah, we're going to do that instead. 
I want to do something very strange here. Just do... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work because my brain forgot a step. Pardon me. No, that's wrong. Okay, it needs to be this. Alas. I just wanted to make this a tiny bit fancy here. But each of these needs access to there. And I would use less if I connected these two things. But it's okay. We'll just be less. It's fine. It looks very impressive though. Don't you think? I think it's good. Okay. Now, speaking of this area, let's do a planting of cattails. We don't have any cattails around here yet. So let's put those in here. This will be fun now that the beavers are swimming. It's like, hey, let's like, let's like let them swim through the cattails. That's going to be fun to like tickle their little toes and stuff. Aw, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Let's do our monument. Can we buy this yet? No, come on, beavers. Work harder, observatory, go, go, go. Now I am feeling that we do have these observatories now that generate so much science. Actually, these haven't generated any, but you know what I mean? We have some in the other area over here. And um, the problem is that there's nothing left to research. <laughs> there's like this and it's 12,000 and that's it. Otherwise we have like everything. Uh, well, almost everything. We do need to get some carousels in working order. I will say that. That is important. I feel like, you know what? I feel like the KOS believes in fun. I think that that should be a defining feature of the great KOS who lives in the sky with the great white pointer and all of that. So I feel like we should uh, definitely put the carousel right across from the temple because that... I feel is a feature that KOS would approve of. I mean, speaking as the KOS, of course. Yes, the, the royal we is coming into, into, <laughs> into full force right now. <laughs> okay, this goes uh, there. Let's see, we need, wait, one more, one more thingy thingy, four and three. Okay, it's fine. Deletey, deletey, these two, these two, and those. And then we'll build a platform for this and get in some leisure time. Oh, this is great. Yeah, the beavers really need to be reminded about how much the KOS loves them. So I feel like building a carousel right across from the temple would get that message across quite nicely. There we go. Now, normally on... Actually, maybe we should do this. Maybe because I like that look. I like the look and I like the functionality of this. So if we do a this and that, this is a good reminder as well on how these things are built well. Uh, okay, so carousel there. And then, come on beavers, go, go, go. Proceed. Can you guys get rid of these please? Hello? There we go. There's one and two. Okay, so we have to put platforms because of the way the wind mines connect. But I love to do this kind of a thing. Let's see. Make sure that the gears are connected to the thingy. Oh, we might have an issue though. Slight issue. Just slight. Um, uh, very slight. No. It's not too bad. Okay, so, all right, yeah, there we go. This is what I usually like to do for a carousel. The carousel requires 400 hamster power, and these are up to 400 hamster power, but, you know, it never blows at full force, or almost never, I would say. So what we're going to do is we need to delete two more of these guys so that we, actually more than two. No. Can we over there, actually? I wonder if the base of this, let's see, I can try. 
you can do this if you rotate this. See, there's no like gear there, so you can't connect it to there. But I'm thinking of connecting it this way and underneath there. So we're going to need a little bit more of this area because of the way the thingy majingies connect, of course. So we're going to connect it not to the wind mine. We have to connect it here like that. But we can connect it here and there and then go underneath this section to there so we don't disrupt more crops than necessary. As it is, I feel like it's way too many crops disrupted. But yeah, it's fine. I kind of wish that the high power shaft, this would be like a, a four piece gear on the bottom. I don't think that would work though. But anyway, it's a thing. Okay, so let's get some more spatter dock organized because I feel like we are missing opportunities here. Um, these are not working for a very long time. So I'm going to delete those. That will also give us access to these spatter dock fields without having to go like way around. Cause before they could go underneath, but now we have this shaft underneath that's blocking them. So that's not good. But now since we removed those water pumps, we can actually go around there and it's no, no issue at all. Okay. So let's just increase our spatter dock fields. Cause I feel like it has a long growth time, so it should be able to work there. Oh, look at beavers working, working. Good, good. All right. Happy days. Now then we have, we do have a paper mill in Snacktopia. Oh my God. Things are connected. Hooray. Okay. So the wood workshop is there. Explosives. Yes. Are here as well. Some people said that this, the explosives were in Snacktopia and that's not correct. They are connected only here. So they are connected to Beaver Dancington. So soon I'm hoping we should get some of these explosives going on. We have a little bit of paper, but again, we're the, our major problem is wood. That's the, the main problem that we are facing currently. And maybe, I wonder if I should make this a wood mine. Could be, could be a good idea. Or maybe we make a wood mine up here because it is a nice, Nice spot for wooding. We do have some, we do have quite a lot of access to these areas as well. So if I put a wood mine up here, or actually the wood, wood, wood maker person. Can I? No, I can't, not really. I think if I put, I can put another, like a, a thing there and a thing up here so they can reach these different tiers of stuff. And I can put a wood chopper chopper right over. Okay. The entrance is there. Let's just make this happen and delete that bit. Okay. Very good. And we can have the wood, wood miner right here. Rotate. Okay. And then what do we do here? I would really love to use those two for wood, but we could put one like here. Maybe let's see. This one is, we could do one like here, basically making access for all of these spots. I'm going to go ahead and start planting trees, just a few to start off with, uh, cause I want to see where the limits are, but you know, as the wood mine gets or the wood, um, what would you call that? So things that make mineable materials, like, I don't know, uh, the earth compacting on top of dinosaurs and stuff like that. And the earth generally putting pressure on stuff to make like diamonds and coal and all kinds of random stuff like that. Those things, what is that called? Like smushability? No, that's what sounds wrong. <laughs> smushability sounds like the wrong thing. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not sure what it's called actually. So, so yeah, um, but that's what this is. The forester's hut is, is the, the, the ore planter. 
We'll call it an ore planter. <laughs> Tree planter. That might be what it's really called. We can't use that word. No, unfair. Meow. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so how are these going? These are going... Not great. They need a lot of gears and a lot of planks. What's going on with the planks? Are we... We are not planking yet. We have resin. We don't have planks. Do we have any planks? Are we... Maybe we're not transporting them. We have... Oh, no, no, no. There's something going on with those planks. Something is happening. They might be building their own uh, baths, wherever those are. Where did they go? I think they're here or somewhere. Right? Yeah, they're here. Okay, so some of these are getting done. There's one of them getting done. Okay, I'll put that one on slight priority there. Just And I, I think they, they try to prioritize as in they're not going to deliver five planks to each thing. I think they actually try to like have their own priorities. The builders know stuff. Some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, maybe. Who knows? Because we do have to prioritize for them. But anyway. So wait, what happened here? Where, what were we going to do over here? Oh, yes, we were waiting for the dynamite, of course, of course. Now then, we need to get some dynamite happening here. Hello? Oh, it's the wood, I bet. It's the wood situation. But yeah, we definitely need more wood production. Wait, what's going on here? Nothing, oh, nothing to do in range, of course, of course, of course. All right. I'm so annoyed with these messages that they cover up this thing. So irritating. It's like, what is the point, people? Okay, so this grill. Oh, I don't know what this grill was going to do. I think it was going to do potatoes. Grilled potatoes. All right, what's going on in this place? We actually have water now. We have lots of food. We can move people here. They have 12 houses. That's why they're not reproducing. So let's build them a couple more houses so they can have like a natural. I really prefer them to, you know, do what beavers do naturally. Um, well, do what like rabbits do naturally, I guess would be more fair. <laughs> but um, all anyway, all the rodents are all the things. So they're going to they're going to do stuff rather than shipping a lot of people over because that is more like micromanagey and right now they don't have any houses to stay in anyway so yeah makes sense to build them more houses because the houses give them quite a nice buff all right we have 12,000 science points at this point so I think let us get the thing the tribute to ingenuity and that is a massive structure where are we gonna put this thing I think we were reserving it for here so let's see, this is going to be animated. Let's have it face uh, a neutral direction, maybe toward both cities-ish, toward the island there. Okay, that seems good. Now then, how, how do we connect this to the world? That's a great question. I feel like we need a great answer for that. We could connect it like here to this. Does this have power in it? How can we tell? That should have power, maybe. No, it doesn't. Does this have power? You know what I would love to see? I want to see an icon if power is connected, like a little gear or something. That would make things very clear. I think that would be better. I feel like I do not see any other connections here. So I think we need to connect things. So as not to disrupt that road, I think I'm just going to build the power connection here. Clonk and... Oh no! Oh no. Okay, let's go up. Oh, there's a road there already. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay. So... Right, how do we do this? Hmm. Let's look at the layers and see what we got. There is, this is an empty space up there. Oh, that'll work. That's easy, easy peasy. All right, no problem. No problem at all. We need to get rid of this roof. 
and then we just put the connection right there. And then we put roofs around it to make it pretty. And we put a thingy here and one above it and a power connector. There we go. And a road. And I guess we can put a roof there, but not over here, sadly. Well, maybe. No, I don't think they can reach up to make a roof there. Alas. Oh, well. I don't know how we put the other roof on there. I'm not sure how that happened, but we did. What I could do, though, is I could put in, like, a... I don't think we have many decorations out here, like Scarecrow or a uh, beaver statue. So let's just put one of those here. Yeah, so people are happier. We like people to be happy. Okay, so that way we have the power transferred into this block. Okay, now then, we need to get it transferred into the statue still, which we have not done yet. Um. Hmm. kind of debating do I want to continue this road uh, or not I don't think we need to if we want we can always just have the road come from above or below just trying to like think of like huh how do I want to connect this power here you know what am I doing exactly okay there okay so here what we might want to do is start off here and uh, not put in these other power shafts just yet. Because I feel like we might block ourselves if we do. Anyway, I think we've made a lot of progress. Our colonies are growing amazingly big. They are really fabulous. I can't wait to get this water transferring device. Zerkoy, I'm sure you'll figure out a way to invent this thing. So anyway, I'm excited for, for that. And um, so thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.